Ingenious Films has gone international. Well, I went on holiday to America and met another engineer who works for NASA. So I took the opportunity to ask her a few questions. What made you want to be an engineer? When I was very young, my father would always take me out and go watch the meteor showers or we would go stare under the telescope and look up at the stars and for me that really fostered a sense of wonder in the cosmos and in space and fortunately I also had role models in both my parents, they were both engineers and for me it just seemed a logical course to be able to pursue my passions. Why did you want to be an engineer and not a scientist and an astronomer? So that's actually a very good question. Um, you would think, especially when you're younger, that a more logical pursuit, you know, would be an astronaut or an astronomer um, to pursue that. But engineering gives you a more finite practicality, I think. Um, it's more of a way of pursuing how technology can advance our understanding. They need engineers in all aspects of the space program and that comes in especially because when you are designing a mission not only are the engineers going to be there to build it but they're also going to be there to fly it and so you want to make sure you have an engineering aspect and engineering approach in all different aspects of the mission. So without engineers there would be no space program? Absolutely, without engineers there would be no space program. Wow. Can you explain to me how a rocket works? The idea of a rocket is um, obviously, as you can imagine, is trying to get something up to space. And so we need to overcome the force of gravity in order to push something beyond that. And the way we do that is by using fuel um, that we combust or we explode and that explosion detonation is what causes that huge amount of force that creates the lift necessary for the rocket to escape Earth's gravity. What makes a good engineer? I think what makes a good engineer, I mean, engineering is not easy. It's, it's challenging. Um, so someone who wants to pursue engineering has to be really passionate. Otherwise, they're going to find it very difficult. As an engineer, you have to have a desire to want to understand how things work. And at least for me, I am very much of the opinion that I have to figure out how everything works and how everything fits together and understanding all of that. And I think that's something that is very common throughout all engineering, um, regardless of what particular aspect you want to go into. It's just the idea of innovation, but also understanding um, how things work. What's the difference between an engineer and a scientist? A scientist oftentimes will research and observe phenomena they see and try to understand that. Whereas engineering take that understanding and they actually apply it in ways that allows us to increase our technology and ways that are practical and applicable in our lives.